Welcome to video tutorial 20 for Teddy the Bear. In this video we're going to be doing the next section of the pattern which is sewing on Teddy's ears. So our instructions are to pin the ears in a slightly curved position onto the top of his head. They need to be around eight stitches apart and along the same row of stitches so they are level and then sewn on neatly. So curved forward, so we're just going to curve it slightly forward and get them ready like so, about eight stitches apart. That's just to give you an idea of where the positioning is, but feel free to decide your own if you'd like it different. We're going for directly around the center of the top of the head. So I'm going to pin one in position and then we're going to have a look. So we've got a nice long pin, so these hold them on easier. And these are a little heart pin set, which we have on our website. But any pins, any certain pins are fine. So we're curving them slightly forward. So the fronts have been curved forward. Let's give it a little curved shape. So I'm going to pin both ends. You can also pin in the middle if you want to be extra secure. So I'm going to pin one and then I'll pin the second and then we'll have a look before we start sewing. Before you get your needle, we must look and check we're happy. So we want the other ear on the same level so we don't want one ear like that and one one here so we want them pretty much as close as we can and curve forward again and i'll show you what we mean by eight stitches apart i'm not sure how's that but we just always try and give you exact instructions because if you want your bear to look exactly like ours you know how to do it so they're pinned on so we're checking that they're level first i'm going to count the stitches on the top just to see if we're similar but as long as we're happy with how it looks, then it doesn't matter too much. So let's just zoom in and have a look. Right, so by the stitches, eight stitches apart, each one of those is a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're about six stitches apart. So we'll have a look and see what we think to him. Yeah, I think his ears are a little bit close together. So I'm just going to pull them slightly across. Like so. so we're going for about another stitch apart if you're happy with how they are it doesn't have to be eight we just give you that as a guideline so that you you know how we've made ours oh, let's have a look so that's near at eight so are we happy with his ears do they look cute do they look even do they look equally curved are they both level so ask yourself all of these questions before you get that needle in your hand. Are they far enough forward or would they be better a little bit further forward or further back? Are we happy with them? I think they look pretty cute like that. Look at that. Oh, he's coming to life now. So now we're happy with it. We're going to thread our needle. And then what we're going to do here is a very similar technique to what we used sewing on the head. So we're going to do one little stitch about a stitch wide on the head. And then we can do another one on the ear. But another way to do it is because I quite like these stitches along here, I think they look nice and neat. I'm going to go back in here and come up here, just near the edge. So we're not sewing over them and disturbing them. I'm going to go back in and come out a few stitches where you can't get it the next stitch because it's it's too difficult. You've got to make sure that you are going through the head because we're sewing them together. So I'm just going to come out a little bit further up. And then I'm going to go in here, look. I'll stitch away and then come up, come up somewhere near the end. So it's an exact science, but it's just we're keeping those stitches hidden. So we're not going over and sewing all over that nice neat edge. So I'm going to go, go in there and go in the tiny bit away from it. And then uh, if you remember, we've done pretty much middle and the two ends. So I'm going to try and come up here because we haven't sewn on this section. And then I'm going to go back down slightly away, just maybe about a stitch apart. And then I'm going to come up here because that's the other part that we haven't done yet. Like so. Oops, we've got that fastened. Look, no panic. Let's just undo it. <laughs> fastened around our pin. Oh my goodness. 
See, this happens to everyone like this. What's happened there? There it is, it's just got fastened. <laughs> so we'll pull it to make sure there isn't a loop on the top, make sure it's pulled tight. So we've got a stitch in most of the area. So now I'm going to go back down again. I'm going to come up near the edge because I think it's quite important that your edges are quite um, securely fastened on. I'm going to go up there, look, so we've got an extra stitch in the end. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out the pins because it's held in position, like so. And then I'm going to sew along the back because we don't want the back coming off. So this is a little bit easier because we've already done the rest. So what I'm going to do is just sew along the back as well. And thread to come out. You may have your own stitch method. You're quite welcome to use any one you would like. We've lost our thread. Let's just thread that back on again. There we go. So we're just going to go along the back now, just sewing the outer edge to it. So I'm going to do it slightly different. I'll do a stitch like that. And then I'm going to go down and do a stitch on here. Just as long as it's small, neat stitches. I'm going to go up there. So again, I'm leaving that nice, neat edge. And then I'm going to go down there. Grab a little stitch there, and then up down the back of it. So we're going up behind there again, and then a stitch away, just going down, like so. Gently pull it, make sure it looks like right neat, and give it a tug, make sure we haven't missed any areas. So that looks like it needs a little bit more tighten sewing on. So I'm going to go right back across to there. And keeping your stitches opposite where you're going and going out so they're close together, not suddenly going over here because you'll end up with a big strand. Go up through there, so we're just going to secure that a little bit tighter. And give them a good tug when you're finished to make sure that you haven't missed any gaps or that they are nice and secure. There's nothing wrong with going around all again. That feels pretty secure. Looks nice and neat. Look at that. How cute is that? Got that nice edge in there as well, so we can see his little edge of his ears. So when we're happy with it, same technique again, just going down, coming up a couple of centimetres away, back down again, and then up again a couple of centimetres away. Now we have it. Pull and fasten off. So what we're going to do now, just check the other ear is still, still, um, still level on opposite and then we're going to sew on the other ear and then we're going to come back and in the next video we're going to be showing you how to sew on the muzzle and also the tail so we'll join you in a moment